those who might have been diagnosed with cancer for example and they are patient this is this applies to them as well those who might have their legs and feet amputated they are patient those who have health diseases and problems those who might have a sugar problem those who have arthritis those who are finding it difficult those who've lost their motor vehicles those who have had armed robberies those who've been shot at those who are paralyzed those who might have their factories burned down those who might have had their houses burnt those who might be having marital problems those who might have been divorced without any reason or without any form of justice those who were left on the streets those who have been thrown on one side those whose wealth has been usurped those who have suffered in any way those really whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has tested in all these ways Allah says this is a way you will earn your paradise if you bear patience and you surrender to the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you say alhamdulillah praise be to Allah ala kulli hal on every condition Allah says if that is what you did and if you are from amongst those who does not compete with Allah's decision, you are happy at the decree of Allah, you make yourself digest what Allah's decision is in your regard. Allah says on the day of Qiyamah, He will call out, Inni jazaytuhum al-yawma bima sabaru annahum humul faizun I have granted these VIPs a reward on this day of Qiyamah. I have, big, I have given them a reward for their patience. And definitely they are the winners today. Allahu Akbar. So if you have a little medical problem, don't worry. Just continue, carry on. That little pain, every time it's there, it is an elevation of your status. Thank Allah. Say, Ya Allah, cure me, but I'm not competing with your decision. I would like cure, Ya Allah. I would like you to help me. Yes, it is our duty to seek assistance. There's nothing wrong with that. But it is really wrong for us to start fighting with the Creator. Why did you take my son away? Why are you doing this to me? Those type of questions, in that case, we will not be from amongst those who pass the exam. Rather, we will come out with a certificate that has all F's on there. Fail, fail, fail. May Allah protect us. We don't want that to happen. And Allah says, I gave you a chance to write the exam. Why did you come with a certificate that has failure in it? I even sent you a book. Imagine we, when we have to study for matric, for example, or when we have to study for any examination, we suffer studying morning and evening up to late at night. We will even, subhanallah, we will spend hours without sleep in order to study a book so that we can pass a test to get to the next level. Why don't we study the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to pass the test to get into paradise? Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us intellect. May He grant us a sound mind inshallah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then tells us that that will be on the day of Qiyamah. But hang on, there is more waiting for them in paradise. Those who are patient. And this is why we say, when calamity comes in your direction, seize the opportunity to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And never ever seize that opportunity to go straight into the hands of shaitan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that on the day of Qiyamah, listen to what he says in Surah Al-Dahr, in Jannah now. We spoke about the day of Qiyamah, let's get to heaven, to Jannah. وَجَزَاهُمْ بِمَا صَبَرُوا Long verses Allah says, We have rewarded them because of their patience with Jannah. Look at them, they are sitting back, relaxing on their recliners. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Sitting back on their recliners, sitting because of the patience they were bearing in the dunya. And patience really is a gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted to those who are given even a bigger gift known as calamity coming in your direction or should I say hardship coming in your direction that is a huge gift and opportunity if you look at it that way because without that hardship where were you going to be able to engage in sabr if it didn't come in your direction if your life is easy and smooth and nothing going wrong you need to be worried where really you need to be worried and concerned where are my opportunities to engage in a huge act of worship known as sabr if it's not for these tests and hardships how will i be able to engage in that may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding let's continue with jannah allah says on that day the caller will call or allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may call and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-ra'd salamun alaykum bima sabartum fa ni'ma 
peace be upon you because of the patience you were bearing in the dunya. Subhanallah. Peace be upon you. What a good place you have. What a good end place for you. This heaven, this jannah that I have prepared for you. Allah says, Subhanallah, at the end of Surah Al-Furqan, أُولَٰئِكَ يُجْزَوْنَ الْغُرْفَةَ بِمَا صَبَرُوا وَيُلَقَّوْنَ فِيهَا تَحِيَّةً وَسَلَامًا those who are patient, they will have a special ghurfa, a special place in heaven, in Jannah. Those who were tested by Allah and they were patient, they had sabr, they have a special place in Jannah. Everyone passing will be greeting them, will be congratulating them, and they will be greeted with salam and peace at every moment, subhanallah. Look at that. And then we take a look at calamity in this world and we become depressed. Allahu Akbar. Yet is it, it is a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, an opportunity to earn your paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us paradise inshallah with the small tests because we are weak. Allahu Akbar. We might be speaking about the big tests, but because of our weakness, we make a dua to Allah to grant us paradise through His mercy inshallah.